Facts atop the Billboard Hot 100. Good afternoon. It's our number two. Daniel here on the Friday Drive at CJMQ FM. The Super Bowl is going to be like no other. 530 Sports. David Wolf from Sarasota, Florida. David, it's such a pleasure to have you on the drive today. Thank you. Bonjour, Daniel. Comment ça va? <laughs> Très bien. Merci. Somehow I'm down here in Florida. You're in Quebec, which is really my uh, hometown. But it's so cool to link back up, especially in these exciting free Super Bowl days. So happy to have you on. David, you were a program director at CKGM in Montreal in the 80s. You miss Quebec at all? On the West Island, if any of your listeners know that beautiful uh, suburb area. Loved it. Then lived in Hudson, Quebec for a while. And uh, absolutely gorgeous in the summer. It got a little touch and go in the winter. I, I loved uh, Quebec. Certainly growing up there as a kid, we took ski lessons and the Laurentians. The bus would take us up there every Saturday morning. And if things were really going great that weekend, we'd go on a Saturday night to see the Canadians at the Forum and eat those hot dogs. Unbelievable. How could you not miss it? How could you not? You know, we had a major snowstorm here this week. It was minus 29 at one point earlier. All right. What, what's your weather like right now in your part of the world? Well, you know, you know, I do freak out just a little bit, Daniel, when I see these palm trees starting to lean over a bit. Out just a so, little bit, Daniel, when I see these palm trees starting to lean over a bit. You know, some people, who, uh, when they come to visit in the summer, they think of the areas being a little too hot. We do have air conditioning here in Florida, so that's a, that's a good thing, and you get used to it. But this is the time of the year right now where it's usually uh, fantastic. And uh, 72 to 75 is sort of the average, at least it probably will be for the next couple of months. Then I expect we'll get a little bit of humidity starting to roll in, but nothing that you can't handle. It's, it's generally a nice area. Sarasota, if any of your listeners know, and I think Quebecers, a lot of them, you know, are, are used to coming to this uh, part of the country without the pandemic going on, of course, and the beaches are spectacular, so it's it's just a, a really nice area. Of course, very and cool. the beaches are spectacular, so it's it's just a, a really nice area. Tampa, cool. how is it reacting to hosting the game and also having the Buccaneers in the Super Bowl? Pretty much ground zero for the Super Bowl. And Tampa, how is it reacting to hosting the game and also also having the Buccaneers in the Super Bowl. It's an exciting time, obviously. Very unique uh, in that we are in the middle of this global pandemic. So it's unlike any other pre-Super Bowl I've ever experienced. Really, things are tempered here a little bit. You know, you may remember in 2020 with the Super Bowl when the Chiefs beat the 49ers. It was a whole different feeling at that time last year than it is this year. And you've got a situation going on here where... You have to sort of curtail the excitement a little bit. And I'll, let me give you more of an example. Masks are mandatory both inside and out. You've got a police chief that's relaying updated bulletins on what they will permit and what they won't during the partying that's going on. There's definitely a limit to seating inside the Raymond James Stadium. I think the stadium will only be allowed to have one-third of the normal capacity. If you're lucky enough to have a ticket, they want you to come and have a good time, but they want you to be very careful in how you're handling your, yourself. And I can tell you that the fines will be $500 if you're not wearing a mask, both inside and outside the stadium. Hey, it's a great Super Bowl week, but in a measured capacity, given the circumstances of what we're dealing with right now. Yeah, pandemic concerns, certainly not the same thing. What would happen if I wanted a ticket? How would that go? They were starting at around... $700, which is actually a little higher than normal, and that's for the lowest price tickets. Now, if you want to be on the 50-yard line and it's party time for you, get ready because going to one of the ticket depots online, 50-yard line seats were up to $85,000, which I think is one of the highest I've ever seen, even, even for the Super Bowl. How are hotels and restaurants coping with the social distancing rules? Florida has been open with the, with the restaurants here for a long time, unlike California. Part of my family's in California. We go back and forth, and it's been a whole different situation there. But you have uh, partitions that are now being put up in restaurants, and I would say that people are loosening up a little bit. Nothing's going to change between now and, and the weekend as it relates to that situation. You're going to be able to certainly enjoy the restaurants locally, but you're going to, again, have to play by all the rules if you're in town for it. The hotels are open. You just have to use caution and be careful and choose the hotels that you stay in wisely. And my recommendation would be for anybody who's thinking of staying in a hotel, obviously do your homework, give them a call first, find out what kind of sanitization processes are going on inside that hotel. And usually it's always on their website. 
Super Bowl week. We're talking with David Wolf. David, Tom Brady, it must have been so exciting to have him come to the city. And can you tell us about him and what sort of season you've had with Tom? You may have caught the story. When he first arrived, he was actually doing some training in a local park in the Tampa area. And they, unfortunately, they the, the police were sent over to the park and they said he'd have to leave the area at the time. They, even Tom Brady because of, you know, the uh, precautions that were going on with the virus. So he left uh, the park, and he went over to someone's house thinking it was Byron Leftwich's house. He got the wrong house, walked right inside. And all of these stories and these crazy things that are going on are always reported in the local media. They love them now. I mean, let's face it, for Tampa to be playing in the Super Bowl in their own stadium, this is the first time in history in the league, as you know. So it, it's a very exciting time. And I don't know if you caught the championship game when the Bucks beat the Packers, but uh, at the end of the game, he actually climbed up the railing at Lambeau Field, and he asked an usher if it was okay to say hi to his son, who was in the seats. And uh, little stories like that, you got to love the guy. I mean, hey, he's a family man, and uh, look what he's done with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the very first season. This is really history in the making. He's the GOAT, man. Does he still have enough in the tank to win the game? I think so. Don't forget, there's a $500,000 bonus waiting for him at the end of the game. If he wins it, Daniel, that's a bit of an incentive, even for him. Now, Tampa has become the city of champions, David. The Bucks, the Bolts, the Rays, everyone's doing well. city must be really... You're listening to the Friday Drive on CJMQ.